what's up guys welcome back to another video and uh, in this video let's talk about uh, animated toggle guys in my last video uh, i mean in one of my previous videos i talked about uh, radial menu using animated switcher and animated position right we were able to create a really cool looking radial menu easily using the animated switcher and animated position widgets uh, so a lot of people are asking me to show more cool stuff using those two and hence i decided to do an animated toggle button First, let me show you guys the uh, button that we'll, we'll actually be creating. So, uh, this is just a demonstration, guys. This is just an example. I'll make, I'll try to make this video as short as possible. So, what we'll be doing is we'll just be creating the button. You can use this button wherever you want. Okay, wherever there are uh, binary options. That is, wherever you have two options. So, if I just tap on this, watch what happens. It's toggled, right? it's deselected notice that the track of the uh, button also changes and not only that the button moves or rather rolls slowly into its position and as it rolls into its position the it also switches to a different uh, icon right so yeah let's create this cool looking uh, toggle button now all right guys uh, i have just a blank application here and uh, i'm using a center widget I'll use child uh, animated container animated container duration will give a duration I've already discussed a lot about animated containers in several of my UI challenges guys if you remember uh, duration uh, milliseconds I'll just give thousand okay and uh, uh, height height would be some 40 units uh, width would be some 100 units uh, decoration box decoration sorry box decoration uh, border radius border radius dot circular uh, some 20 units fine box decoration fine and uh, oh, sorry and uh, uh, color would be uh, we'll have uh, this color needs to change based on the value right so boolean toggle value equals false and if the color is toggle value uh, color dot green accent of some hundred so that the shade is light and uh, if it is false colors dot red accent uh, hundred this would be still darker so I'll just add an opacity of about 0.5 okay fine uh, now we have that track we had a track for that button to roll inside right and the track will change color automatically based on the uh, toggle value that is if you set it to true it will automatically change to green and if it's set to false it will change to red and it will change really slowly because this is present inside an animated container so whatever the changes that's going to be happening inside that container will be happening in a smooth and uh, cool looking way now that we have this let's go ahead and create a child child stack children uh, inside that I will have an animated position animated position animated position duration duration milliseconds thousand seconds fine and uh, curve curve dot ease in fine and uh, top this will be some three units uh, left would be uh, if it's wait toggle value uh, 60.0 0 0.0 you understand why I'm doing this right if it's uh, true then the button should be at the uh, right end of that particular track if it's false then the button should be at the left end of that particular track so that's the reason why I'm giving alternate uh, left and right values based on this toggle value 0 0.0 60.0 why am i giving it 60 because the entire width is uh, 100 units and wait i'll show you 
uh, animated position yeah we need a child for this as well right child uh, ink well so that we can have the tap action on tap uh, toggle button toggle button set state uh, toggle value sorry toggle value equals not toggle value fine uh, now that this is done we can simply go ahead and give a child for this inquel child animated switcher why am i using an animated switcher since we need to switch between two icons uh, animated switcher uh, duration uh, sorry duration uh, milliseconds once again i'll give thousand so that the color switching and the button icon rolling is smooth and then uh, transition builder transition builder widget child uh, i explained this in pretty much in detail in my radial menu video guys so if you haven't seen that yet kindly watch it once i'll leave a link to that in the description below uh, and here i'll give animation animation double animation fine sorry animation fine. and this will be a brackets uh, inside this i will give return rotation here you can use scale as well rotation transition uh, child child turns animation fine uh, now that we have something to i mean we have defined what to animate and how to animate that let's go ahead and create those icons after this, I'll go ahead and create no, inside the animated switcher. Toggle value icon icon start check circle check circle color color start color start green. Uh, size I'll give it as some 35 okay so I'm going to be having a icon of size 35 uh, and I'm going to be moving its 60 units to the left when the uh, icon is enabled uh, showing a check mark if it's not enabled wait not only this we need to give this icon a key as well right unique key why because we are going to be using uh, two instances of the same widget right we will be using another icon widget for the false scenario as well the only difference is this will be color red and this will be uh, instead of remove circle outline fine now we are using two icon widgets so the animated switcher shouldn't think that both of these are same right so that's the reason why i'm using a unique key for both of these to differentiate uh, between them and tell the switcher that these two are different widgets that need to be switched um, uh, what's the condition to be switched based on this toggle value if it's true then this icon should be shown if it's false then this icon should be shown how should it be switched based on this transition builder we are just returning a ret rotation transition which means the icon should rotate itself into the other widget one widget should rotate itself into the other widget right and uh, yeah that's about it guys let's save this run this on a device and see uh, how this performs all right guys now you can see that we have the uh, animated toggle in our screen right Let's just try tapping on it. Wow. You can see that it automatically 
rotates and uh, moves into not only does it rotate it also switches the icon uh, widgets right as you can see here now we have a really cool looking uh, uh, animated toggle button we'll also show you guys the scale transition right this is the rotation transition right Fine. Now just try tapping on the. Wow. This looks really cool and really different, right? So yeah, guys, this is exactly what I wanted to show you guys today. Now we have a cool looking animated uh, toggle button that you can use for your Flutter applications. Similarly, you can uh, use the animated switcher and animated position widgets to create a lot of effects using uh your existing widgets inside your flutter applications guys try using them uh i mean try uh, those effects using uh, animated switcher and animated position and it will make uh, animations a lot more easier so yeah guys this is exactly what i wanted to show you guys today this uh, animated toggle button just I, I just wanted to give you guys an example that's about it so if you really like this video kindly hit the thumbs up button guys okay if you uh, like what i'm doing on this channel kindly subscribe to my channel and click on the bell notifications icon so that you receive notifications each and every time i upload a new video and uh, yeah subscribe guys it's free and uh, leave a comment below if you have any doubts regarding this animated switcher and animated position or uh, if you have any doubts regarding any other video as well uh, leave a comment below hit the thumbs up button okay hit the thumbs up button and i'll talk to you guys in my next video bye